Falcon 9 with a Dragon 2 spacecraft was supposed to launch on the CRS-26 mission on November 22nd, but was not able to due to adverse weather. Another opportunity arose four days later, and everything went smoothly this time. Falcon 9 launched from the launch complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center at 19.20 UTC. The launcher cleared the tower and pitched towards the east. And lift off of Falcon and happy Thanksgiving ISS. That's right, lift off of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket for the 26th Cargo Resupply mission, bringing new science experience. By SpaceX standards, it was quite unusual for a brand new rocket to fly on a mission. The fact that the Falcon 9 needs a new second stage for each mission is widely known. However, this time the stack contained also a new first stage and even the Dragon 2 spacecraft. The Falcon's first stage performed a short boostback burn so the drone ship did not have to be placed far away from the launch site. The landing took place only 300 kilometers from the coast. As you can see, the first stage landed on the Just Read the Instructions platform without any problems. The Dragon 2 spacecraft separated from the upper stage and began chasing the space station according to plans. The spacecraft was loaded with a total of 3528 kilograms of cargo. So the CRS-26 was a record-breaking mission. No other SpaceX spacecraft has ever carried more cargo. The main items were two Irosa rollable photovoltaic panels stored in the trunk. The pressurized cabin contains scientific experiments, but also supplies for the crew and other items. The Dragon autonomously docked with the ISS as usual. The contact between the spaceship and the orbital complex occurred on November 27th at 11.39 UTC. Have you visited our Twitter yet? In addition to links leading to new episodes of our channel, you will also find there other interesting information about spaceflight.